Peace and greetings and welcome. And we're going to go right in today on the uh, ending Morion. The ending Morion photo that I posted up in the community about the ending Morion with the uh, tobacco barrel with the six point star and the so called dragon or Arabian symbol hebrew whatever you want to call it but we about to investigate that but right you know right now i'm gonna give you the rundown on the future with the islam exposed revisionist series guaranteed to change and rock the whole world and understanding of islam and muslim and all of that to show you the sham behind it and how we have to ban it from american nigga culture so Astrotheology at Mecca reveals that this black stone at, Me at Mecca is basically the yoni, the vagina, the black vagina. And these Korashites or these Kuba people, these mother civilization people believed in this black stone. And they symbolized it with this pyramid or this triangle symbol. And you can read up more on it yourself. The yoni, as they describe uh the goddess Kali bore the title of Kunti or Kunda, the root of the ubiquitous Indian word cunt and all its relative kunis, kunte, cunning, kuntapoden, kin kin country. Even country is named after cunt. So we're going to get right into the studies behind all that and the paganism and the mispracticing of how the ancients that they call primitives originated. So we have a group of people who originated it called the Meccans and the people who love the mother and the womb they came from called the Korites, the Korashites. And they got a deep history and they are chased all over the world and whatever they erected, stolen. That is right. So we're going to go over that, but let's get right to the, uh, to the Indian Moran. Okay. Let's get to the Endin Marion. And we see Endin Marion and we have to investigate because we have the controversial historian leaders of the Aborigine Indian community who says Moors are suspect and has to be vetted in their community and have to be, you know, shut down to a certain degree where they can't speak in the Aborigine community. They are a bit of separate, but we as indigenous people, particularly in the Latin community and the conscious, aware, uh, traveling people community with dark hue skin and the American uh, families and clans, we know better. We know all about Moorish, Moreno, Maroon, uh, intercontinental, international trading, historically ancient, prehistoric. We are pretty fond of all that. So we not behind, but we got people that are in denial, you know, so we have to leave advanced studies to remind you not to fall for, you know, the obvious infiltration of ignorance. It, it is no ignorance is never no excuse. We need to always know that, especially in law. So if some people acting like they ignorant on purpose just to make some money and get some clout and get some fame, is it our fault? No, it's going to be their fault for being ignorant. That is correct. So we're going to investigate this end in Morion to see the source of it. What country is responsible for posting it? What is the origin and source? Is this Virginian tobacco selling indigenous? Is this the West Coast? Is this Europe? Where is this coming from? And why did they put in with the gap then? Morion, that means something, and we have to research it to disprove those who deny the more proof in America. That is right. So let's go right in. I'm come back to that. Let me clear all this up before we get on the hunt. Because I got supreme research. I'm re I'm revealing on the Islam and the Allah. 
And the game is going to be over with because they have prehistory here in America. They have pre-Columbian history in America dating back over a thousand years. So it's not looking good. We got it. Like, this is the complete rundown that I'm going to introduce to y'all for the intellectual and intelligent breakdown that will separate us lawfully from all illegals, illiterates, minors, and, you know, propagandists. All that information is coming, you know, separating who really is who. We got to have supreme proof who, uh, on who is who. And that is the route I'm taking with the information as of now as the, as the supreme studies leader. So let's go right in on this ending Marion before I go ahead and give you my take on the source of this and that six point star and that so-called serpent symbol. So let's go in. When I put in ending Marion. We see De Rukende Mor with an elephant. La Four in Tabax Nuif in Segrin, Amsterdam. Quakert's Pot. We can pr- translate all that. And we see he has an elephant. We don't know if it, we don't know if that's in India, South America, or North America. I'm sure the indigenous back in the day had a heavy trade network where they can hide elephants over here. Because it's even hippopotamuses uh, up in South America. We can look that up right now to show you that it's deep. Let's see if it's hippopot before I even move on. I don't mean to start the video, but we always learn it. Let's say, what's the man name? Uh, See, we see the hippopotamuses down here where Pablo Escobar was at. And they pretty much have taken over down there. And they want us to be thinking that some hippopotamuses is from Africa. You see what I'm saying? They asking the question right now. If... Uh... Pablo Escobar's escape hippos help the environment when they know they from down there. And this is land. He already knew that the Moors been here hippos down here. He was just hiding it. You know, they was they was just not letting everybody know what was going on in America. Because Pablo Escobar come from a good bloodline of traders who was trading back in the South American days. He was, you know, he's not a rooty poot. They just made him into a criminal like they do all Latin Americans and more Americans, more people. So, Colombia has declared war on the hippopotamuses in uh in uh South America because he know they know that's a symbol of them, you know, being connected to both lands. So. You know, they probably been killing them. They done probably killed like three, four hundred of them. And they probably so smart. They, you know, they dwindled the population. They just hide and they spray, you know. But I don't believe nothing the media put out. You know, it's hippos here. Now, let's get back to ending Morion. Let's find out. Let's get out of here. Because all this is interesting information to me. What we got here now? We're going to go to Pinterest last. I was just at a good one, wasn't I? Oh, here you go. Let's go find out all this ending Marion stuff. What does that say? In John Mob into Bach, Amsterdam. I doubt if they talking about some European Aboriginal more. Okay. Marion. Moroccan quick view. I don't know what else that Rukende do. Let's get up out of there and get some more views. 
I don't know where Rakende at. Rakende. Hook Lusestrat. Okay, so he's talking about snuff tobacco. That sounds like America to me. And we know the British Museum got a lot of stuff. The Indian Queen. The Indian Queen. Okay. So we got the the British Indian Queen then came over here and stole from the original. Because look at them little Negro children at the bottom with them lips. The little short people. And then they switched it over to that one to the right with the little short obvious aborigine. Okay, what does this say? Large, super fine, Samuel Fullwood. Okay, at least they letting it out. We just don't know the origin of this stuff. London, like what? Thomas Smith, the Indian Queen Corner of West. This is sad. Uh, we gonna get close. We gonna crack it. Before I get into my analysis of that six point star, I also have uh, something I saved on it, some proof to support what I believe. But it ain't nothing wrong with a little research. You know, <clears throat> that's probably a lot now and monotony and a, lo- a lot now. Look at that woman's lips. That is obviously one of our relatives when you look at them type of lips. Ayante. Look. Maharashtra. Look at her. So, you know, let's get back to the, uh, to the Morayans. Knights of the Round Table. Smoking Morayan. First sea route to India. Okay, Portuguese. Uh, we don't want to know nothing about. It. I want to know about Indian. Let's say Indian Mariah before I move on. And and Mariah. Nothing pops up. Mm. Mm. Dead figures. Ryan. Mm. That's not what I'm trying to prove. I'm not trying to prove none of that. You'll see the point of this video real soon. That is correct. I'm just doing a quick roundup on info before I go in because, you know, I know don't nobody care about really researching this. You know, they just want to believe whatever someone's telling them. Source of in in order. Okay, let's go in. They have the lion. I don't see the dragon so far. Grand Amalfi. Let's find out who the Morion is. And I heard somebody up in the uh comments saying that they were uh I think paratrooper saying that they were uh, a part of the uh noble New Orleans, Louisiana. We're gonna figure all of this out. This information is at the touch of a finger now. Okay, no Billy Douche principle. Very noble, okay. Got the horses. 
Uber name Mor, Morayan get a pencil where metal under douche un English Morayan of a Francis Morayan os Morant in the Zurk Moyan. Sit them as Gendin the F. Shahundred Ab Carl thirteen forty six. Haben de Casa Wappen Verlihan. Only the the Gonstigen in den Adostand. In den Adostan zu erheben im zwanzig Jahrhundert haben sie den Files Gräfen mit der Wappen vergabe Petro de Seidwen auch Bergen Familien Wappen Alright. Well, they're great. Very good. Very expensive information if we was able to get dig deeper. Fifteen hundred dollars. So history is for sale. And I don't know what's the significance of the Morayan Heraldic Trace. Don't really know. But in my quest to solve the puzzle to this source of this Morayan ending, we're going to go over this. We're going to go over who the Morayans. Que grunde morande. They smoking. So I can imagine this is a company who's doing business with Aborigine. But the prime location for that tobacco is America. Mona Construct. Justice. See women and men. Just this year, Aborigine. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's do one more, one more I am before we go in. Finish candy in. Let's go in here. Any more Mariah? Nope. Give it one more try. We'll find some Indian Moors then. Indian Moors. Okay. Okay, we see these people with the justicia. These just basic photos. This is proving nothing. Fez is with indigenous in Sri Lanka. More fez wearing Indian. All right, Indian Moors. Here's a prime example of an Indian Moor right here, Noble Truali. And they wrongfully connect these people to uh, Arabs. They disrespectfully connect these people to Arabs. Look at that woman. We see that woman all throughout America. And we see how they split their nation up. And see more engine Marion. What is Dayra Cut? 
<clears throat> Vrukende. Man, let me look it up. What is Vrukende? Let me find out Vrukende is in America. Vrukende. What did I say? Vrukende. Maya. What? Is that? I was gonna say, I thought they was gonna say that was some some Mayan stuff for a minute. For the moot Maya. Let's see if there's some images. Okay. Yeah. We gonna find it. Let's get out of here. Day Indians of America. What does that raccoon? Nothing. Virginia. Okay. Now we in business. We are definitely in business. We are into the... We enter the territory of advanced research. And I remember the Indian queen with Thomas. Uh, Thomas something. Pictures that we're gonna go through in the future. I'm on something. Now let's get back. Let's go back to that Virginia. I seen. Okay, let's go over here. De Rukun Rukende Moor. The Rukende Moor. So these people were doing business with these people. With these these Amsterdam people Amazing That figures I get it another time Buy tabac tobacco right buy tobacco buy tobac de broom fish it's, it's gonna be easy to learn a language it is a it is a good thing, being me in these times, things will become simple. Look at that tall building. Tabax Fabric. Hendrik de Conten. They got big buildings back then. The Amsterdam Burrs. Deze in Mur en de Gandurin. I know Birmingham, Alabama is named after the Boers. And they got the ship symbols. Enden Golgen Burk Tabak De Nigar So I know y'all appreciate this basic research You know of us getting closer To the more I mean yeah the more and the aboriginal battle Because if a more got anything to do with some tobacco With the ending then that's birthright and resources. Well, we got every right to be up in this. You dig? Dead Chinese. So the Amsterdam got a complete historical collection on the people they meted and greeted in their early industrial days. And they called the people Indian more. But we we kind of got to understanding that we got a basic understanding that it's about you know in the in the region of of virginia we know this look at that that's amazing kandake what is that rokende Kendake. 
That'd be amazing. But we understand that tobacco trade is the, you know, the Virginia, the Carolinas region. They booming. Okay, here go another one. Here go a good one. More. De Brukende. De Rukende. It's got me, man. I can't wait to get that. But we have the game is over. Because we have... This is technically archaeological proof. Because this is historic. So we moving on with the studies of the aboriginality. And Indian, and as well as Indian. We taking that over. Because we are more... I believe we are more fit to lead because we were never emotional disrespecting people from the get go. Just, you know, just to be noticed. The more. La more. St. James Street. Sigurin. Utrecht. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Let's do this. Now, the game is over. This is probably just the beginning of the true realization of the suppression of Moorish society. Look at the one, look at the head wrap. In head wrapping, head wrapping, black Moors. The Mar. Who? That look like Marlboro. That look like the origin of Marlboro. Sack, trying to glory. All right, we know the Moors was the. Was the Leaders of the tobacco. And this is why they wanted those more heads. Looking for the more heads. Looking for the Negro heads. Now you see why they wanted to kill these people over here now. Look. That is the Raconde more with a turban on. With the typical. Oh, he got the sash around his stomach. So this is more civilization under attack. It didn't take me long. I did not even have to pull out a book. Ain't that something? Ain't that something? I didn't even have to pull out a book to find out that it's the Moors getting robbed. And, you know, they want you to not... uh, do the uh, research with the... with the... with the... Wikipedia or the imagery on Google? Oh man, I got to get out and spend thousands of dollars, man. I got me you know you know how much money I got to spend, man, to prove what I prove, man. Y'all just don't know, man. If you use my name, man, uh YouTube algorithm going to pick up and they going to flag your channel. See, I don't want your channel to get flat. Nigga. Boy, we ain't we are ahead of the game, nigga. Niggas. And we know what it's like to be duped once. We already know. We know what it's like to be duped and lied to. And fooled and befriended. By people who look like us, but it's not like us. So as a Chicago when we are we are trained to know non real American niggas. We know you fake niggas who be shaking and shivering when you talk, nigga. Nigga, when you hold on a conversation, you want to be noticed. You want some you want everybody to notice, you know how important you think you is. Nigga, you not important. The information is ours, right? So nigga, you don't need no name and you niggas is fake. For hiding the more. Ain't no mistaking about this. Ain't no strange happenings about this. All of a sudden we linking the more to the tobacco trade. It ain't no strange happenings. Did I just pull up the one with the turban on? And this is their empire. The more who got robbed. They was booming. This is what reparations is about family. The big robbery of the foundation. And the industry and the resources of these people. Straight highway robbery. So. You know our people is playing rich. That's what Noble Dry Ali was telling us. And we. Ten years of being distracted. And, and into believing you not a more. Into believing that you are an African. Ten years of that stupid shit. 
Now imagine how far we could be going on if it wasn't for these idiots. How far we can be going on claiming all types of stuff. You know, we might can get in there and get those Welsh niggas. You know, we can get them Welsh, Welsh niggas, uh, you know, some forgiveness. We can get niggas to forgive them for their slickness. And, you know, them sending money to the Irish, the Choctaw sending money to the Irish. Because, you know, it's all about claiming what can be claimed and getting ahead of the game. And. It is already it was, it was already prophesied that Aborigines was going to be the people that were going to be used to spread propaganda and ignorance. We already knew that because we knew who the top flight civilization was. We understand what why Inca mean, what Inca mean, what Eli Inca mean, Illinois mean, Nawa Naga, Nigga Niji. We done done supreme research, and you know we know the Kufic and the Nevada. Petroglyphs, the Salinac Petroglyphs in Michigan. We got advanced research. We, I'm just saying, we just know already. So we arguing with people that that is telling you Indian, Aboriginal only. They not telling you exact. Histories and foundations and connecting them. This is in Michigan, the Salinac petroglyph with the Asiatic headdress on with the born arrow. And this stuff right here is getting desecrated because it is so racist up in Michigan if you don't know in certain places. They know this is the Anasazi people, the Four Corners people, when they left proof of how they came over here in, in uh, civilized Michigan and Wisconsin. They left these nautical markers all the way from the West Coast all the way to Wisconsin where the same language is used. Uh, proving how they was able to traverse the seas and, and uh, inhabit America. These so-called Asiatic seafaring people came here first. And I, I got the story. I keep on misplacing my information. I be having ground shattering information misplacing it. But... These prehistoric glyphs is hidden right amongst us in Michigan. And we know exactly who's responsible for this. It is being hidden and and not paid attention to. Now, people bring it up. I know I've seen some people bring it up. But we got to understand when they're using that language, that Aborigine and Indian, Indian, Aborigine, Indian. You know, and then they persist and consist on ignoring the more. So... I think I did enough of really breaking down. Unless y'all want to, we probably can go in a little bit more. Let's go in a little bit more. Now, some people right here say Moorish history and tobacco moors. The American, look at that one. So it's like, I'm not going to say everybody is just not looking out and, you know, you know, supporting the cause, but it is some people who refuse to just leave us alone. You know, and they want to and some of them want to claim our culture. You dig? Like they'll sit up there and just ignore us. Now look at this photo right here of the modern Britons meeting us Negroes in America, us Moors. Look at the one to the left. Meeting the high class Indians. Now you see why they want to push that Indian stuff on us? Because this is the marriage, the original marriage of us linking up with the two continents, you know, in the times of Maya physicism, when we believed in duality, woman and man. When Maya physicism was the order of the day of the Maya culture, it swept over in America and over in India. When we had a believing of the Maya dual existence. I don't know if you study, but I do. And I'm going to do a video to prove that you don't know what the Maya or the Olmec is either. As your supreme teacher, that's my duty. Now, look at these people in 1676, the natives of races of New England were spoken of indifferently as Indians and Moors. And our British Indians are also remembered as Moors. So this is their Moorish empire that the noble Drew Ali people speak about. And if you look at that Indian one with the turban on. He's brown-skinned, and his woman ain't too far from our, ours, 
but they look more regal and like they might be more uppity than us. You know, but we got the tobacco. They got resources in India too, but more than likely they got a central bank. You know, probably somewhere. But this give you an example of what they hiding people. You did, you know, and the line about the more. And just think if we can just get deeper and deeper and deeper into the research on how many countries who recognize us as more. They don't recognize us as nigga, nigga, black, black, African. They got stuff on more. In ending more other countries like Denmark, how's we going to get it if we got these goofy, you know, lames just sitting up there hating? You know, as soon as we come up with a more video and try to link it to aboriginality and indigenous culture, we're going to hire some niggas to debunk it, even on Supreme Chief and them holiday channel. Scam Callaway and them, all of them, you know, all of them going to keep playing just for their own personal gain instead of going for the whole might. Because whether they poor and malnutrition and insufficient of knowledge they still are a people they are minorities and any government have to you know look after the minorities and the wards so who are the first people to inhabit the land commonly known as north south and central america since 1928 the answer to the question has been hidden but not withheld from mainstream america it has been hidden but not withheld Displaced and blacked out thought whitewashed the covering up of the anthropological and scientific facts of America's original people being what are today commonly known as black people. America, the land of the Moors. Now, we got supreme research, you know, already connecting this. And I don't know if people brag about their research or they don't care. They just keep it personal. You know, they just keep it amongst themselves. But, you know, that's what I do. And right now, it is the time of exposing to pave the way for the, you know, you got to tunnel away for the light sometimes. You know, sometimes you have to tunnel away and that will let more light come in. Because we see it's a lot of darkness getting practiced like dark magic over the people's mind, particularly that pan-Africanism by Sarnet and them. That is dark magic because... We already know Saladin them is Aten, Aten, uh, Aten. We already know these are the original Allahs, Moon God people, uh, archaeological sun people. We know Saladin ran up in there on the Crusades on the lepers and the other uh, naysayers and chased them out of there. And we know that is Islam. We know that is Allah Mecca them, and we still have these damn idiot. Pan African hoteps doing videos acting like Allah mother vagina religion civilization ain't at the center of this. You dig what I mean? You gotta understand this is like straight Islam, the Naga culture, the Indian Marian, the Israelite, all of it is linked together. It is no separating it. You know, just like we got rock, hip hop, jazz, blues, it is no separating it. But somehow, just because it has something to do with the more inhabitants, the more rich, and the Allahs, they want to just, dis they just want to, you know, discard it, but you can't. And I'm right here with you. Let's go up in here at this ancient American mortuary, mortuary statuette found in Northern Illinois. Readers of this magazine occasionally learn of persons claiming to have found an ancient Egyptian presence in pre-Columbian America. Unfortunately, there are proofs for pharaonic visitors there are at best theoretically possible or patently erroneous. At worst, far less often, a piece of exceptionally persuasive evidence is brought to our attention, such as the object featured on this issue's front cover. Little was known of its modern origins, save that it was found in Libertyville, Illinois, some 20 miles north of Chicago, during the time of this discovery in the early part of the 20th century, Libertyville was a very sparsely populated agricultural community with only a few dirt roads in sharp contrast to the sprawl of upper class suburbia that mostly blankets the area today just off the I-94 tollway. 
But before World War II, only several dozen family, mostly farmers, were spread over some 12,000 acres of largely pristine prairie. As a young man, the discoverer, whose widow has requested anonymity for her late husband, developed an abiding interest in collecting Indian artifacts, mostly arrowheads he found in the vicinity of his home, but his Bridges' sources for prehistoric materials were along the banks of the Des Plaines River and nearby Diamond Lake, otherwise seldom visited its five-mile shoreline, featured a number of Indian burial mounds. He rifled for whatever grave goods that he could dig out. These were usually limited to small pipes, spools, bowls, flints, and other typical items from one earthwork. However, he allegedly extracted a most untypical statuette. Surprisingly, he never attempted to have it professionally evaluated and showed it to only a few collectors, perhaps for fear of criticism, either for having removed the object without information, informing the archaeological authorities in Chicago, or because such finds were automatically condemned as the foragers of kind men trying to defraud money from collectors. Time passed, and by the turn of the 21st century, his assemblage of more conventional Native American artifact reached prod. Prodigious proper property some. And let's look at this with the language. We can say that and we can research that and compare it and compare that too. We can definitely scan that. With the right over the left, what it looks like I can't tell if that's a pyramid design in a hook or a snake. But it's definitely a female found in America. And I read all that because you got to understand the, co the, the cover up is real. I'm sure people already uh, has revealed this. I'm sure people has already revealed that statue and Hebrew or whatever else they consider it to be. You know. So, our thing is, it is what we consider to be the Zodiac Constitution, which governs us, and we are the masters of it, and that is why we call it Moors and Moors Science, and that is why you can see that these statues and figurines are of our culture. And when we teach our culture, we do it with what we call leadership authority. We don't let outsiders do it because, first of all, they disrespect us and they outcast us and tell us that we are not from here and that we are from Africa. And we see, you know, with broad evidence, clear evidence, this is Islam. This is Islam. This is America. This is Mexico. You know, with our people and we call them Moors and we have proof. So this video is over. And I give you about a five minute. I, I'm gonna give us about a five minute breakdown of this Indian Marion. Let's go in. Why end the video? Cause I preached to you. I filled your cup up with the information. You know, I gave you another another vision of what's being hidden. You know, ain't who taking their time to read to you and bring you closer to the information. You know, because, you know, they lying, not helping us. And you know the lies do not make us grow, people. You know the lies don't make us grow. You know it, people. The truth makes us grow, and it makes us want to get closer to more of the truth. Look at this typical Negro before I go in. I get five minutes only. Look at this dude, probably tobacco chief, and he's a mohawk, Tomax, scoping knife. So I already linked the Mohicans and the Mohawks. Remember the Mohawk children got kidnapped. Look at the heart around his neck. Smoking pipe. We know that's a typical American Negro with a gun. And we know the Mohican and the Mohawks, you know, got genocide. All right, well, let me go in on that more Ryan. Keep finding something new. Let's go in. Okay. We see that symbol. We see the serpent symbol with the six-point star. 
To me, that is Judean. It is connecting some Judean nigga culture of the island central. I want to say the equatorial. And I want to connect them from Indonesia, Belize, all the way to the Indian Ocean, including South the uh South Africa. You see that you see that six point star? That got something to do with the Nagas. The Naga guys, all of that. And they had a vast nigga system that was totally genocided and warred upon because they had the resources as we can see what this is about. Not even oil like Muscoscus and DeSoto came over here for. Just Tobacco by itself is a billion dollar industry and it can change all of our lives, let alone the oil, the sugar, you know, and every other resources that we don't control. And as we can see, the Indian more is getting robbed every day. They make videos to make sure we are disattached. So we see the symbol right here. Six point star. It looks like a three or a Arabic symbol serpent with that dot on on the side of the figurine, it's like it's a serpent or or a a, a symbol of the Arab or the more Kufic, and that looks like uh, uh um Kaaba. That is the Kaaba symbol. That is the Kaaba symbol, mistakenly known as the Mecca symbol, the symbol of Mecca to me. That is a Mecca symbol. If I can prove that is the Mecca symbol. Then that is our that is our land in Virginia. We are the originators of that trade. That means we are playing rich. You do not know how valuable this information is. That symbol right there. If we locate that, that is the Mackens symbol, and that six point star put us in with the Judeans. And it is more little symbols with it. And our supreme research and efforts can go in and locate that symbol, and uh, we can uh, get to this inheritance. So. It looks like a serpent. I'm not going to lie. It do. But that isn't. Some people say it's a dragon and it got something to do with the, you know, the serpent crest or the serpent of wisdom and all that, whatever you want to say. I'm saying that is Kufic. That has got something to do with some Muslim, more Indian, indigenous, uh, you know, Cali stuff. So let's go in on it. And this video is a wrap. Let's see what I can find. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what I can find. I had some on it. Man, I hope it pull up. That's okay. Here we go. This is just one facet of what I'm talking about, this symbolism. And this is with the Shiva. And, the, you know, that is the Sabaeans, Sabes, uh, which is Allah them, the Allah moon people. And that is Brahma in Hindu. Shiva is the star and crescent. And Vishnu is this symbol. But you see that symbol, the Brahma Hindu trinity, Aum. You see where I'm getting at with this? Because Islam is all rooted in this stuff. They just kick Islam out to make you think it's not a part of this stuff. You see that symbol? So, now let's go find it somewhere else. We're going to find our symbol somewhere else. And I'm going to try to find it in the dragon form. Flor de Lis is an ancient symbol. Mother, child, father. And we see why New Orleans and Florida... You know, play a significant role in all of this. Mother coach. All right, let's get out of here. I want to go. Got ready here. Serpent. That is a serpent. Yep. We are getting close. 
We are getting close to proving that that engine Mars. We gonna do it. We uh oh. We gonna prove that that engine Mars symbol belongs to a certain people. But you know what? I don't think I can do it in this video, and I don't think I should. I honestly really don't think that I should. To be honest. Let's get out of here. Shiva symbol in Islam. Serpent. Symbol. Let's point star. Definitely gonna have to be a part two to this. Definitely, because it is obvious the cover up is real. Okay, I don't see a serpent in nothing. Cosmic serpent. Okay. And I, I, I expect I expect them not to give it up like that just with the stroke of a type. That's cool. Cause that's gonna be a part two. Well, let's go back in. See what that say. Uh, uh, uh. Nothing. That's cool. That is great. Marlboro. I'm I'm convinced. Definitely convinced some morals was getting robbed. Nothing is popping up. So that's going to be another whole research. We're going to locate that uh, that serpent six-point star. I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a, I'm a do that on my own. Because it looked like that's all it is, is a coiling snake. So... This is interesting. And Shiva's weapon. Shakti's weapon and sword. Shiva's crescent moon. This is very interesting. Sandra Shakti was made into antibiotics. So all of these signs and symbols. Is being stolen by these fake Muslims. Basically. And it was a big empire of these. You know, so you know these more people who use this symbol. Oh, we already know a Hindu Shiva temple. That's something I'm gonna do on my own. But I get it. I can't. I'm not gonna break the code today. I get it, but I bet you I find some proof. I bet I do. I guarantee you, I guarantee you that I find that ending symbol somewhere else. But this video over with, appreciate you. Meet me in the comment section. Uh, show me, 
you know, act, you know, let's talk about the ending Morion cover up, the obvious more tobacco industry, you know, state to state, city to city, town to town. You know, nation to nation, they were slanging that tobacco and ain't no telling what else they were slanging. Okay. So. We got the Moors getting robbed. It's just obvious. And we gonna have to, uh, there it go. You see it? I knew I was gonna get it. And of course, the Israels will be hiding it. I knew I was going to get it. That symbol is inside that six-point star. So I'm out of here. I got me some. I got me a source. And y'all going to have to prove that's a serpent or a dragon. And you know, according to Shiva, it is a serpent or a dragon. So you might be a part of the Islamic family too. Of understanding that the end in more is the heirs. Of that their tobacco and is their culture of Moorish literature and trading and merchandising. That is right. This video proved that and this is just a basic understanding for people who just don't comprehend advanced research and intelligence dialogue. So I understand. I, I know you understand and comprehend my basic breakdown of what you are up against with these liars. This is heavy. This is heavy in the field. This is heavy. And we prove without a doubt that that end in Morion is tied to something even deeper. And we will be getting into that later on. And that there is our inheritance. I proved it. I proved that it was ours. And I proved that they are up against us. And we need to fight for our right to express our divine rights and our culture and nationality. Which is American hood, which is ab aboriginality, which is indigenous rights. That's right. Do not be afraid to be more an indigenous. Do not be afraid to practice your spirituality of this concept of the sun, moon, and stars. Peace out.